Hi, my name is Steve Tooley and I'm with Emerson Process Management and today we're going to be talking about calibration management within AMS Device Manager. So the first step in setting up a calibration within Device Manager is to go in and create a test scheme. So as you can see here, we have a test scheme created. It'll be under a field device and then you'll go in and you can rename this whatever you want. So this is actually your test scheme here. You'll have two devices in it with this test scheme and it's simply dragging and dropping the devices in and when you're ready you can define the test scheme just by simply right clicking go to view edit test scheme. This will bring up a different window where you'll be able to go ahead and go through all the different steps within the form. It's pretty straightforward. Here we have a calibration interval which is set up for 18 months. You can also go ahead and click through the tabs, go to test points. This test scheme we have it defined with five test points. We also have a start and finish at percent of span. And as we move forward, you can see that the accuracy tab will give you where you want your max error. So anything above that will say that it's going to be a failed calibration test. We're also going to define how you're going to connect to the devices. So in this instance, we're using an instrument which it says is powered by the calibrator. You can also go ahead and click on the top tabs, and this will be editable fields where you can type in anything you want as far as instructions that are going to go along with the test route and then if there's any safety or setup instructions as well. So once this is all completed you'll simply click OK. Then the next step in the process is to create a calibration route. So as you can see here that we have a route created. We have this named, we call it demo rig. We have two devices in it, the same two devices that are in the test scheme. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same devices that are in a test scheme and then you'll just simply right click on that again you go into route properties and this is where you can name it you can give it a description if need be and then you're also going to say you're going to check out for what type of device so here we're going to be checking it out to a BMX MC5 calibrator once this is all done we'll simply say OK it will collapse it then it's just as simply as clicking on the demo route and bringing it up into the calibrator and it will give you a warning and say, do you want to check this out? Simply click check out. It's going ahead and now it is going and sending the information based on the tags down to the BMIX MC5 calibrator. And then you can see that once it is finished talking with the calibrator, it'll go up here and it'll say tags to do, tags done. If there is any tags rejected, it will show them right there. And you simply click close. And after that step is completed, you'll see that the red arrow has been put on the route, which denotes that this route has been checked out to a calibrator. Then the next step will be is where the technician or whoever is working on the devices will go out with the calibrator to the devices, do the actual calibrations at the devices. They'll bring it back to the workbench or wherever they started this process with the computer, simply upload that data back into Device Manager, and all of the information that was captured from the devices with the smart documenting calibrator will be brought into AMS Device Manager. Once that is completed, you can simply go to a device, right click on it, go down to calibration management, and you can go and look at the status of what the device history is, the calibration history. For this, we'll look at the status of it. You can see here that the last calibration was unknown because we didn't actually go out and physically calibrate this device but the next scheduled time for calibration is due December 17th, 2012. Simply click OK. If you want to go in, you can also go into Management, look at History, and this is where you're going to be able to simply report or to be able to print a report from here so you can see that the last date that it was completed, and then you can simply go to Report, click on that, and this will show you the actual physical copy of the report that you can print out. See at the top when it was last calibrated, the result of it was passed. You can see the as found data and then this, the small green line that goes as the as left data. If you go to the next page, you can see all the specifics on it and then also the instructions on it. And that is as simple as calibrating the devices within Device Manager. So as I've showed you today, you can have a simple seven-step process for calibrating devices by using AMS Device Manager. It's a simple process of defining a test scheme, creating a calibration route, adding devices to both of those, 
taking that route, checking it out to a smart documenting calibrator, taking that calibrator out in the field, doing the physical calibrations, then bringing that data back into Device Manager, uploading it where you can review, print reports, go to a completely paperless history, view the history of all the devices, the trends of the devices, and it's as simple as that for calibrating devices using AMS Device Manager. For further information, please visit our website at emersonprocess.com. Thank you.